<laughs> Are you ready, Donald? Yeah. What's going on, dickweeds? That's better. Hey? Eh? Fucking right. <laughs> this is Gorilla Glue number four. Hey? Eh? GG4. <laughs> Tonight's, tonight's fupper. Hey. I will show you. Let me just. Hey. Let me just. Tonight we are having some tomato soup and garlic bread. Hey. Soup and garlic bread. And I will be, hang on a second here. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's the middle. I don't fucking know. I'll be washing it down. I'll be washing down my soup with Lake of Rice beer. What bum beers is all about. I'm gonna wash down a liquid with another liquid. Hey. <laughs> uh, okay, we're just waiting on Donna over there. I don't know, what are you doing Donna? You're getting water. What are you getting water for? Somebody's fucked. <laughs> Who drinks water? Water with soup. And Donna's got the same thing except she's on the water. Tap water. Mm -hmm. Why are you drinking tap water? This is only one bottle. You can have that one bottle. What are you saving it for? For like to make when I go to bed or whatever. Donna won't. Hang on, let me straighten this up. <laughs> Donna won't go to the store and do any shopping because nothing's on sale until tomorrow. <laughs> Which is fucked because you know I could have used a bologna sandwich. No, that's yeah, bologna's on sale tomorrow. Hang on, my things are. Fucked here. Oh my stuff. <laughs> Milk will go on sale tomorrow. Milk's on sale tomorrow. Butter will go on sale tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Oh, because a flyer switch. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's a flyer thing. We gotta wait till fucking. Tomorrow. Yeah. We used to just go shopping willy nilly, but the prices went up. We can't afford to do that anymore. We have to shop smart. <laughs> okay. Today's Wednesday. Hump day. <laughs> day dedicated to banging. At least I dedicate my Wednesdays to banging. I don't know about you cocksuckers, but that's what we do on Wednesdays. I fucked the shit out of her. Ah! <laughs> uh Donna wanted to tell you guys a story about uh, two days ago we, we carried up the washer and dryer and I don't know why Donna's still talking about it. Because I wanted <laughs> to say how fucking heavy, um, 
Okay, not not the dryer because the dryer's light, but the fucking washing machine and where the fucking uh, what's it called? Cinder block is. It's bolted down at the back of it so we couldn't get to it, right? Who's we? Justin and I. Okay. We well, you said we like I was there. I wasn't there. No. I mean, I was here to carry it up, but I I I didn't do nothing with the cinder block. No, we. Uh, Justin said it was bolted down to the fucking bottom. So on the way up, right, Justin only got like, I don't know, two stairs and then he couldn't pull the fucking dolly anymore. And it was underneath. And anyways, fucking... Yeah, I was, I was at the bottom. It was so... It took everything in me to grab that fucking one handle and pull up the fucking washer. I thought I fucking pulled something in my back. Yeah, her and the jizz had a handle of the dolly each and I was at the bottom and... Oh, when we move... That's why we're not I had the heavier part and she's bitching about it. <laughs> That's why people fucking hire movers because uh, I'm I'm I wouldn't do that fucking shit ever. I, I used I used to go and help my brothers move their washers and dryers whenever they would move from place to place. And I quit after a while because I tell them why Donna <laughs> You'd be doing all the fucking work. You'd go there and do I'd be carrying the washer and dryer help. down by myself yeah. for fuck's sakes and my back would give it. Oh my it. god, there was one day. I wouldn't feel till the next day, of course, but like I used to be able to carry washers and dryers down the stairs like just in my two hands pretty much. I can't do that anymore. I'm too old now. I feel like I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> and the new fucking washers and dryers. I don't think I'd ever be able to carry those down by myself, even in my fucking young my youngest, toughest day. <laughs> Okay, what were you saying? Oh, you well, when you said your back. I remember the last time you did that with your back. I think... Uh, I don't remember. Something about you had to wrap the cord around whatever to... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hurt your back really, really bad. Like, fucking bad. Yeah, my brother Mike. You guys know him as Flat Earth Mike. He moved one time. Uh, Robbie, my brother Robbie was also helping. I remember they called you. Eddie, Eddie, you're the only one that helped us. Yes, yeah, so I went over and... They were having a hard time with it because it was kind of heavy. All I did is that, because it was a heavy fucking washer. I don't know what, kind of, what brand that was. All I did, because the, the stairs were carpet, I laid the cocksucker down flat, and I grabbed onto the, you know, the cord that goes into the wall. I wrapped it around my arm, and I just slowly fucking let it slide down to the bottom and then stood it back up. <laughs> okay. That's that's the day I, I realized that I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, nothing. I just want so you to done with your washer and dryer story? Yeah, I just want to say it was fucking hell. <laughs> it was hell. It took a lot out of her. It did. Uh, okay, I, I've had this thing written down a few times on my notes, but I never mention it. I don't know why. I just kind of overlook it. It's not important anyway. Um, But... When I was younger, I used to wonder why you'd always, the Chinese people in China, they would always say and show you some dude that's like 120 or 130 fucking years old. And the guy looks like he could still like fucking, you know. Hey? Yeah. What'd you say? I laughed. Oh. I thought I heard something else. <laughs> I thought when I said... I thought what I said they looked like they could still. I thought I heard her say, come. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. That's what I thought you said. I didn't say that. I didn't say a word at all. Anyway. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, they look like they could still, like, run and stuff and, like, do things, like, you know, regular. And you wonder, well, how the fuck are you 130 or whatever, right? Well, I recently learned this. Those dudes ain't 130, like, not according to our years. In China and over here, the years are different. Um, when a person in China is over there, they're a certain age, but then when they come over here, they're a different age. Because the way the months were. They got 10 month years or something, I think it is. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. And well, we got 12 month years, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And then somehow, as the time goes, <coughs> uh, the Chinese people are, according to their years and months or whatever they're getting older but they're not any older than like a, a guy that's 110 over in fucking china is probably only 85 over here you know what i mean anyway 
I thought that I should tell everybody because I didn't know that when I was younger. <laughs> I thought maybe they were like eating better than us. But then when you see when they're eating, that stuff they're eating is not, you, you can't live long off that. You see that fucking shit they're eating? Yeah. I don't even know what half that shit is. Those big wormy noodles. Big worm things and other things and stuff. <laughs> that stuff's fucking, anyway. Chinese people ain't as old as they say. Well, they are in their country, but they're not as old as they say in our country. <laughs> you can look it up if you don't believe me. Donna wanted to tell you guys about the bombs making their way back to the underpass. <laughs> We're in Timmins, Ontario. I'm not laughing at... No, we, we don't. Got, at them, we okay? never laugh at poor people and stuff, and we help poor people out whenever we can, like homeless people and stuff. But a lot of homeless people around here are not really homeless; they're scamming you. So that's why we don't always, you know. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't help oot poor people. We help oot homeless people sometimes. Um. Fuck the poor. I'm poor. <laughs> Again today, okay, I wanted to say this. So I went and grabbed uh, Ed's beers. And then I went and grabbed... Yeah, she bought me some beer. I only got a few days left. Five days, I think, eh? Yeah. And then I quit drinking forever. So I went and grabbed his beers. And then uh, I went... I was like, okay, I'll go, I'll go get a coffee. I won't have to go through the drive through at the gas station because uh, the I don't want the gas light to come on the, on the car. Okay. So, so you had to go get gas? Is that what you said? Yeah, like it wasn't on yet, but if, you know, I'd just rather, ju I just went and got gas and I could just go into the Tim Hortons at the same time. Yeah. The fucking cocksuckers here, okay? I don't know if your vehicle can't fit all the way into the, into the, uh, what do you call that? Into the fucking gas station lot or whatever, eh? Then don't fuck it. Because what happens is, Okay, so there was a Jeep in front of me, a lady, okay? Her big fucking Jeep couldn't fit all the way through on to, into the lineup of the thing. So half of her Jeep is out on the fucking inside lane, okay? So, which makes it hard for somebody wanting to get gas because you have to cut, make sure nobody's coming around you, right? But at the same time, everybody sees that's coming into town, right? That there's a fucking, there's no fucking cops around. Anyways, I got in, I got in there, I paid for the gas, I got fucking coffee. I left there, and then on the way under where the underpass is, right, or overpass, whatever you want to call it, I call it the underpass because you're going underneath it. I call it the homeless shelter. <laughs> and, and I was like, hey, fuck, like there's people under there again. Not, I'm not, I just noticed it. Okay? Were they living there or just hanging out? No, okay, I didn't, I wasn't sure, maybe, because it's cold here today. It, it is chilly and rainy. Mm, so yeah, I it thought is. maybe, you know. Well, maybe they, to block the wind, eh? Get into the cold. But no, no, that's not the case. Okay. Why you investigated? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, so later on, I was like to Ed, we well decided that we're gonna have garlic bread with the soup. So I went into the store to see if it was there because it's it's cheap there. Yeah, and you get this garlic bread at the independent grocer. Like it comes with plain or with cheese. We prefer no cheese, but if it only had cheese, I would have bought it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we we don't like too much cheese on our garlic bread. It makes it too oily. No, because like it's so busy on these streets, like at three o'clock, especially like the six fifty five and stuff with the transports and shit. You would never get out of there. So I went through the town way, right? Because the town way. Yeah, <laughs> the like, anyways. So I go back, I'm going back underneath the underpass, right? They're not, um, no, they're not, they weren't taking shelter. They've got their bags, their big garbage bags and stuff back there. They, and there's more of them, more people underneath there. Okay, first of all, if there's a fucking living space for these people and they don't want to stay there, okay, and they, I know you can't make, then there's a problem at the fucking living space. Fix the fucking problem, you cocksuckers! <laughs> they won't have them sleeping everywhere in town. Like I heard, they have a place to go. Yeah, if they're if people are safe, if they shouldn't a shelter f be like a, a place that feels safe and stuff? Well, they can do their drugs. I mean, I don't know. I've never been to a shelter, but 
Well, they can do their drugs there. They can. Well, fuck it. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> You're allowed to do your drugs at the shelter. You can. There's. My understanding, it's it's not like if you were homeless, okay, and somebody says, "Hey, there's a fucking place you can go sleep over there," and it is so bad at that place that you would rather just fucking sleep outside. Then there's a fucking pl- problem with the case. The the place. The case. The place. The place. <laughs> it's like the people are all mad about the safe injection site, right? How many people are using it? Yeah. Me and Donna used to help out. We used to help out the homeless a lot. Like, yeah. Like, we give them, like, water bottles and different things, you know? Fucking granola bars and packages of whatever from the store. We buy shit, right? We didn't really give them much money because you never know, right? But then we started to notice a lot of the bums around here, like that are mooching money like have fancier fucking shoes and stuff and some of them walk around with fucking brand new cell phones and well I'm not gonna give you no fucking money if you know what I mean so we don't help out every homeless person because I don't think every homeless person is really homeless and if they are they should probably get rid of their fucking cell phone and pay rent somewhere <laughs> just saying Which brings me to, behind the Independent, there's a trail that goes to, um, Gilly's Lake. We took you on that fucking rock walk before. Yeah, if you're not from Timmins, Ontario, there's a, we've got a couple Gilly's Lake videos. You can go back and check them out if you want to get the... View of a little shit lake. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you know where the path is over here? Okay, so this is the path, and this is behind the buildings here. So you have this. Justin said they had tents set up there behind there last night when, or it wasn't even last night, supper time. So I get, I guess they just sleep outside. I guess, or they're gonna go back under. Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? Winter's coming too. Where are they? Tents, uh, tents aren't good in the winter. Me, no. and, me and Donna were homeless for a little while. A long time ago, and winter came. Well, win- it wasn't winter yet. It was just it was fall, but it was like winter weather. Well, it's and it didn't feel good. <laughs> I couldn't imagine with the it's like eight here today. That's what it feels like eight, and it's been rainy all day. I couldn't imagine being in a fucking tent because I'm cold in the house. You know, mm. they I don't. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do. The city don't even, the city can't even fucking, they can't get anything fucking right here. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Also, they're asking, they were asking, okay, this is not a, this isn't, it's a, uh, there was somebody that was, okay, so there are, uh, people are asking, right, because there was somebody that was hit on a bike this morning. Oh yeah, yeah. In the morning, yeah. that caused what was it? Uh, life changing injuries or something. something life altering injuries or uh, no, it said something different. Something where like it sounds like the I asked Ed what it means. Yeah, it gave you the idea that the cocksucker may be paralyzed now or something or something like that. Maybe like gonna have a old permanent limp or something. Something in this person's life is going to change now because of that accident. And people are at, so the cops have reached out and said, "Oh, anybody that's seen this accident at four o'clock in the morning, you know, as a witness, to get a hold of them." Now people are saying, "Who the fuck is it at four? Not only that, where it happened at the intersection, they the cops have said there is uh, cameras there, right? Mm-hmm. But it's always best to get a witness. Well, if you fucking see why, <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. If so, if if the guy was pedaling on his bike, right, and a car fucking or whatever vehicle hits you, that's why you, you don't need a fucking wit. You're watching it. You could see it. Yeah, you could see it. Anyways, they're asking. I don't know. People are like, I don't know. Tunes is a fucking. I can't get nothing right here. Nothing. <laughs> You can't get nothing right. I would take you cocksuckers to and show you the weather, but it's fucking raining. And I'm sure you all have fucking seen rain before. <laughs> it looks the same as yesterday, just it's rainy. Right, Donna? And cold. And cold. 
a little bit of a wind on the set. Well, the wind actually looks like it died down now, but it was windy a little bit. What else you got, Donna? The only other thing I have is while I, okay. <clears throat> so I found out this today before I go on to my story. So the center lane that they made, so there's three lanes. Center lane where? Uh, for turning, the turning lane. Donna doesn't give much detail to her story. Uh, between on what street? Uh, all of Jubilee. Okay. <laughs> there's that's all the way uh, there. <laughs> So people have decided, right, because traffic is so fucking backed up. Hey, I'm going to fucking go into the turning lane. And when the fucking, co when it's time to go, I'm just going to fucking race out in front of buddy next to me. That's what they're fucking doing. People don't understand the fucking bike lanes whatsoever, especially by the high schools, because nobody knows where to fucking turn because of these merging fucking lines and shit like that. So because it's so hard to get out of here, uh, especially. Hard to get out. Especially at... What do you mean, like off the street? Yeah. It's yeah, hard. Donna has a hard time getting off the street sometimes. Like if... Because you don't... There's fucking... Sometimes traffic too fucking, like... Uh, blocks fucking long, right? So <laughs> after one goes through, then you got these fucking cocksuckers over here. You got that fucking... Those ones fucking over there, right? <laughs> You have the fucking <laughs> cocksuckers that notice that the light's turning fucking red from way over here and they gotta just fucking slow it down, right? Because they don't want to fucking stop their vehicle. God fucking forbid. They want to just keep going with the fucking green. <laughs> Fuck. So I looked over and I, I said to Ed, uh, because it was getting like it was close to three and the buses and shit, like the school buses and stuff. So I'm looking over and I see like lots of cars and I'm like, maybe <clears> go... The Pine Way, and Ed says, yeah, well, you we have the lights, whatever. So I'm at the fucking lights now, okay? At Pine and Jubilee. <coughs> I am going to be turning left. There's a car in front of me that is, is turning, uh, like, the op, like that. Like, we're both going this way. And then there's a fucking cop behind her. So the light change is green, right? And she's, like, looking at me, and I'm thinking, okay, well, you fucking turn first, right? Uh, she turns. I notice that the cop does not have no signals on or anything, okay? And he's just like, he's looking right at me, okay? But, okay, so, but if I'm fucking turning, I gotta wait for you to cross the fucking road, you know? Yeah. So, that, this is all happening, and I'm like thinking, like, okay, like, fuck, go. Then he puts his fucking signal on the last minute and fucking turns out, you dumb fucking cocksucker. You son of a whore. Don't you know where you're going? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you fucking would have known, oh, I'm turning fucking in or I'm not, I'm going to go straight fucking through. Oh, fuck. I almost lost a cracker. <laughs> So what happened after nothing? Well, I had to wait for him to fucking turn, right? And the passenger in the SUV, like another cop, he just kind of like looks over at me like, you know, but he, he, you're a fucking cop. You know? Fucking shit weasel. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about fucking anything. I am so disgusted in this fucking town. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Like, it's it's just uh, it's just shitty living here. It's shitty living here. It's better living in other places, like anywhere else. Anywhere. If you're thinking, oh no no, it's not no, it's fucking bad here. There's horrible. Nothing but bombs and crime. Crime and. Junkies and people go door to door trying to get in your place to fuck you over and steal your shit. Like all your good shit, you know, like. Whatever this best, like. Anything that's not nailed down. <laughs> there was somebody that had their fucking vehicle broken into, I don't remember where. Right? And she said. The fucking thieves that broke into the, or the person that broke into the vehicle stole their wallet, right? And left the fucking drone, a chainsaw, and what was it? A drone, a chainsaw, and fucking, a and a laptop in her vehicle. The, yeah. <laughs> where the fuck? Like, nobody questions, you know, at two o'clock in the morning why somebody may be walking around with a fucking chainsaw? Yeah. Right through town. <laughs>
they don't hire it's like they don't maybe it's like this everywhere mm -hmm. but it's kind of like they don't hire enough people so they can really take, keep the fucking money from themselves what do you mean like there people say oh there's not enough cops they're, okay so why aren't you hiring more cops you know <coughs> the crossing guards the fucking city doesn't even fucking hire anybody for that like <coughs> Yeah, kids went back to school, the French kids, and there's no crossing guards for them. Little bastards had to learn how to do it themselves. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they somebody have no choice. didn't even send their kid. They said, no, they're not sending their fucking kid to school when they're supposed to, there's supposed to be a crossing guard on a crosswalk, and if you don't have, like, the time, because parents do work, right, their kid's not going to school until the fucking, there's a crosswalk person there. Yeah. Which I don't blame because fucking so many people speed through this fucking town. I watched somebody fucking uh, turn, right? Mm -hmm. And the pedestrian was walking across the street. Mm -hmm. She just about fucking clipped him. The person fucking stopped, right, and looked over, right? And she looked right at him and I seen her fucking like kind of smile and fucking, you're wrong. You're wrong. Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So Donna told you guys a story yesterday or the day before about a guy breaking into a building from up above, like from a rooftop. Yeah. Didn't you say something else happened to the other part of the building? Okay, the other part of the building, I uh, a week ago, so there's like, a, my, I don't know how it works downtown, but I, usually there's a bunch of businesses that are close together, right, or like stuck together, whatever you call it. So her place got fucking broken into, okay? Yeah. They, so she, I knew they took the cash register and a laptop or a iPad and... Is that what they took? Yeah, they took a cash, her, her, her cash register, uh, an iPad, the monitor. Was there anything in the cash register? I don't know. The computer, like the tower and the monitor. And then today when this person said about... Uh, oh my fuck. <laughs> about That's good garlic bread. The thieves, right? <clears throat> Then that same business owner <clears throat> went on to say the fucking people in a store took the time to fucking warm up food in a microwave, okay? Took the time to unscrew the fucking security camera at the front fucking window. Where the fuck are the cops? Yeah. You know downtown's fucking horrible. Yeah, shouldn't somebody be patrolling? Patrol, what did I say, patrolling? <laughs> Patrol. Fuck! Hey! My words, not patrolling, patrolling. Somebody should be patrolling the downtown area. And I don't mean by like being parked inside the fucking donut shop or a fucking store or something. I mean like driving around actually like, looking. Well, like to actually go. Every time you see a cop that parks somewhere. Yeah. They're never like actually doing nothing. Like I've never seen it. I've heard some sirens a few times, but. I think he was just trying to get through the lights to go to the donut shop. <laughs> I mean, you must know as a thief if you if you can fucking safely unscrew a security camera while you're fucking in the store that you broke into, eating and taking shit. You know, I, I'm sure people fucking watch and they know. There must have been a hole below. I'm thinking because like you're stealing shit and you say, "Well, fuck, that food's tempting. I'm gonna make something. Fuck it. Take my chance." Chances. Chance and chances. Well, hey. maybe they watch, right? Hey, like, fuck, it's been two weeks and there's no fucking cops that come around here, you know? Could be. Maybe they had a look oot. <laughs> Might be a look oot. Could be. Uh, I don't know, I'm just... Do you know what they ate? <coughs> she just said... <laughs> she was more disgusted that they actually took the time to warm up to eat in well, the that is that is fucked but and unscrew the camera she was but in the, in the times we're living in you know a lot of people like they might have a hard time walking away from the food because <laughs> well think think about it a person breaks into a place yeah if i to steal something to sell to get some fucking food or whatever and they're also probably thinking well even if i get busted and have to go to jail at least i'm gonna fucking eat right have a place to stay Know what I mean? Or so like, so like, if you're not worried about going to jail, why not just like, oh, I'm in here now. Like, let's cook all this well, food up and the, fucking 
you know. <laughs> that's that's the thing, okay? And then you're sitting there and no cops show up and you're all done eating. Well, fuck. You grab your bag with all your stuff like sand, like Sandy Claw <laughs> and you fuck off. <laughs> they don't, um, it's, uh, they don't really keep you, like, in jail. You don't, I don't know what it takes for people to go to jail, but it's, it's gotta be a lot, because. No, but if they keep you in there, they gotta feed you. Where? In jail. Like, I, yeah, but you can, honest to God, honest to fucking And there's God. no fucking cafeteria over at the police station, so what are you gonna do, to order your pizza? Well, no, they gotta give you something, but they don't, they don't hold you, like, you, if, if. I, That's a question I have now. If you're a cop watching, leave a comment down below or send me a private message. All my info's down below. When you keep a person in jail, like in your little... In the holding cell, sometimes you keep them there for like a couple of days if they just keep on... What do you feed them? Criming. You pick them up like something decent from a fast food joint, you know? Or like, you got some kind of... I don't think you guys got a kitchen, so like, what are you feeding them? Bread? Bread and water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a loaf of fucking Wonder Bread and a jug of water there, Donna. <laughs> you stunned twat. What? <laughs> you know, you always hear bread and water in jail. <laughs> yeah, but that's all old fashioned. I don't know what they, uh. Maybe. I don't know. Would you really trust eating at a fucking. in a holding cell? Hey, if you're starving, yeah. You don't give a fuck. I would care because... And, and you know, why why would you say that, though? Like, because somebody might do something to your yeah, food? Yeah, like spit in it or something. Yeah, but, well, if somebody does that to your food and they're a cop, then I wouldn't want to be them when they meet God. <laughs> Just saying. I think that's, like, against God's rules. I've never read that anywhere, but I don't think you're supposed to spit in another person's food or anything else you know but but I don't think that a lot of people go to jail like not here because you can people the I same ones are always you can rob fucking you get caught whatever you go to the police station for an hour and they have you back out on the street till your court date yeah. and then you go to court and then nothing happens it's just another crime on your underneath your name yeah. No, yeah. like maybe if you murdered somebody, okay, I would imagine you'd go to jail. Well, that's usually how it goes. But not <laughs> for that long. Uh, I don't know. I never murdered nobody. Have you? No. <laughs> or like, or like stealing. Like I hear in the states lots, right? That, you know, they stole, somebody stole something when they were, you know, uh, fucking 15 and they're still in fucking jail, you know, when they're 40. That is fucked. That's fucked right up. <laughs> somebody in jail from stealing and they're like, from when? Like when they were like 15. They're still in jail and they're 40? Yeah. Yeah, that's fucked. That's or fucked like up big couple, time. Those couple states, I don't know where it is, it's like after 12, if you do, if you do I th a crime. I think, I, think, I think a person probably learned their lesson after a few fucking months, or even a month, maybe well, even a few weeks. I think so, but... Uh, Some people learn their lesson in a few days, you know what I mean? Like, there's a, there's I don't know. <laughs> a couple states that when you turn 12, if you go and like uh, commit a crime, any crime, it is, right? I know, but that amount it's up of time... To, it's actually up to the court... I think it's the court. Maybe I'm wrong. It's, it's up to whatever. But they don't have to try you, you as a minor. They could try you as an adult and put you in fucking adult jail. Could you fucking imagine being 12 with going to a fucking, uh, what is it, federal prison, they call it, or whatever? No, I don't think that's yeah, a good the, thing. Yeah, the states, it the, seems like you go to jail for just about anything. Over here, you no, I'm not saying you can come do shit, but it's... I don't know anybody that went to jail for fucking stealing. No. Well, actually, I have an uncle that used to go to jail for stealing. <laughs> yeah, but... Because... Because he... My mom used to take me and my brother to visit him in jail when we were kids. We couldn't go, like, into the, the one prison he was in. We had to stand inside and wave out a window. I think... I don't know how... I don't even know what fucking prison that was. 
Maybe oh, because he never learned. Like maybe he was one of the ones that, you know, steal every second day, and then by the time you get to court, there's, you know, 15 charges on you. Yeah, he's, he's fucked. <laughs> That's on my mom's side. <laughs> anyway. That's it. That's it? Yeah. You don't got nothing else? No. Okay, well, fuck, that's all we got for today. We're going to get back to our bang, and we're all fueled up here again, and... Yeah. Let's go work off this foop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh... You know... I'm going to get in my road toke. And Donna's, she's giving me the cock signal. <laughs> she's going to give you some final words. Stay happy, stay safe, be kind, enjoy your Wednesday evening. And, uh... Oh, fuck, there was two raccoons on the lawn this morning. Er, three. Three. There was three raccoons on our fucking lawn. There might have been more, but Cameron picked up three of them. Yeah. I was gonna, after my words, I didn't have anything, but then I remembered those little fucking bastards. <laughs> Them little fucking bastards. Going around looking for somebody's trash to rip open. I would like to talk to the fucking, remember that time quickly, you said this before. Was it, was it raccoons? They said that you don't have up here? Yeah. Was the, wasn't it the city or so somebody said? Somebody, it was the city of Timmins. I would like to show, I would love to know who that person was <laughs> that fucking said that to you and show you the fucking camera footage. Well, I, call, I called the city one time quite a few years back. Didn't they take fucking pictures during COVID of when they were on the fucking fence? Yeah. Anyway, I called the city of Timmins and I said, uh, uh, what did I say? I forget. Something to boot the raccoons over here. They were doing something. Ripping all the, the garbage? Or Maybe. This know. this was before the Nimbins. We oh, not, then it was probably yeah, we the used, garbage. In the old days, we used to take garbage bag and just throw it down the fucking driveway and the garbage dick would, you know what I mean? Well, or we had other garbage cans. You put the bags in and you could put lids on them, but the raccoons and other wildlife could knock those lids off, right? So anyway... I called the city and I said, like, these fucking, you know, these fucking raccoons are bad over here. Like, they're ripping shit up and, like, getting tired of cleaning up after them. And the lady started cracking up. She's laughing on the phone at me. I said, well, what's so funny? She said, we're in Timmins, Ontario. We don't got raccoons here. I said, what the fuck do you mean we don't got raccoons here? I'm looking right at them. I, there's raccoons here. Anyway, she said, there's no raccoons. I don't know what you're seeing, she said. But, uh, you know, there's no raccoons around here. And she actually hung up the fucking phone on me after a while. Time passed by, and I don't know if you guys were, whoever was subscribed, uh, if you watched the video, like, I don't know how many years ago even, two years ago, three years ago, we had a whole family of them walking across the fence over yeah. here. They were up in the tree for a while over here in the neighbor's yard. And last night they were walking through the yard and they went across the street over there. I don't know where the fuck they were going, but they... They went that way. They went that fucking way, yeah, over they, that way. And there's been, like, I, like in the They were past, heading north. Or no, sorry, south. They were coming from the north and heading south. In the past, like, couple of years, right? And people go on and they'll say something about raccoons. And people on Facebook are still saying, we do not have raccoons here. I've never seen one. Well, my dad used to live in South Porcupine. Yeah. Or he lived in Porcupine. Yeah. It was a porcupine? Yeah. Yeah. Behind the fucking porcupine mall. And yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, that's only like fucking 10 minutes from here. He had so many raccoons on his deck behind his barbecue one winter, like just digging around and looking for shit. You know, and I don't even know if it was winter. Was it winter? No, it was in the summertime because he was yeah. getting all the bears, and then this one night was. Oh, there were so many There were so many of them. The fucking. His, his back deck was covered. You know, there's like, fuck it, I don't know, like 30 of them, 40 of them. There's, there's lots. They started coming out from the back of the fucking, behind the barbecue, but then they wouldn't stop the, uh, on my dad's video, his ring cam. They just, they're just popping up. They were all over the railings. They were. But those things don't exist around here. <laughs> anyway. Did I do my road toke? Yeah. I did, eh? <coughs> okay, well, we don't got nothing else, do you? No. Cigarette holder to everybody. We are out.
You're really that desperate to get back up there and taste me again? <laughs> If it wasn't for the garlic bread, I'm sure the soup would have came up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs>